Welcome. In this video, we'll see the instruction set in PIC 16F877. So for this instruction set, there are only 35 instructions and all these instructions are of one word. So one word in case of PIC 16F877 is 14 bits. So using only 14 bits, every instruction is represented. So it has only 35 instructions. Some of the instructions are byte oriented means uh, the instruction can operate on entire byte. Some of the instructions are bit oriented. It means uh, those bits can manipulate or operate on individual bits. Uh, some of the instructions are literal and control instructions. So some notations that are used in the syntax of these instructions are as follows. So first one is f small f, which indicates that file specified or it is the file register. So it can be a direct address of RAM location or it can be the name of the SFR. The next one is K. It stands for immediate data. So whenever we have K in the syntax of the instruction, it means that it is 8-bit immediate data. The next one is W. W is the working register which is used for general purpose operations. Then we have D. It is called as destination bit. So if this bit is 0, it means that the destination is working register. And if this bit is 1, it means that the destination is the file register which is present in the instruction. Then finally, we have B uh, which stands for bit position in the given register. So the bits can be in between 0 to 7. Any bits in this range will be there in the register. So first we'll start with the data movement instructions. So data movement is basically means that the data will be transferred from one register to another register or from one location to another register. So first we have move immediate value into W register. So W is the working register and if we want to copy or move any value in working register then we have to use such kind of instructions. So first example is move LW 45 hex. So L in the instruction indicates literal. So uh, the syntax of this instruction will be move LW K. So K is nothing but this 8 bit value. So here the instruction says that move LW 45 hex. So this 45 is the immediate data that will be copied to the working register. So whenever we have L in the instruction, it means that the value present after this mnemonic is nothing but the 8 bit immediate data. So second instruction is move LW 33. So here we have not written hex. The meaning of this instruction is that 33 decimal value will be copied to working register. Next instruction is move LW 0x45. So again, this is uh, similar to the first instruction. So just the representation is different. So 45 hex is written in first instruction and in, in this instruction, it is written as 0x45. So both are same. Next instruction is move LW B single inverted quotes 0001111. So the meaning of this is that whenever we want to copy or whenever we want to write the data in binary, we have to use such format that is B and in single inverted quotes, we have to write the binary value. So this value will be copied to working register. And the last instruction in this is move LW uh, status. So status is the name of register. So the contents present in status register will be copied to working register. So these are some of the immediate uh, data movement instructions present in PIC 16F 877. Next instruction is move W to file register. So whenever we want to move the contents present in working register to any other register, we have to use these instructions. So the instruction is like move wf and address so here we have to give the uh, address that is 8 bit address from the memory location so this address can be any address which is present in the ram memory then move wf port a so this is one example of this instruction so with this the data which is present in working register that will be copied to port a register Similarly, we have move WF tris A. So this is again same. That is the data present in working register will be copied to tris A register. So these instructions are used for copying the contents of working register 
to any other register or memory location. The next uh, type of instructions are bit set reset instructions. So in this all the data memory is bit oriented. So we can access individual bits from the entire data memory. So that is meaning of the data memory is bit oriented. Then uh, we have the instructions like BCF. So BCF stands for bit clear file F comma B. So here F is nothing but a file register and B is the bit position in that file register. And we also have a uh, instruction as bit set file f comma b so this is again used for setting the bit present in this file register which is indicated by the position of this uh, b so example is bcf port b comma 5 so with this the fifth number bit starting from 0 uh, in this uh, register port b will be cleared so this instruction is bit clear file file is nothing but this register that is port b in this port b register the bit number 5 will be cleared then next instruction is bsf port b comma 7 so again same thing here instead of clear we have set so the this is the file register port b so the bit number 7 that is the msb bit of this register will be set next bcf status comma 5 so with this the bit number 5 from status register will be cleared and finally we have bsf status comma 6 with this the bit number 6 of uh, status register will be set so generally these two instructions that is bcf status comma 5 or status comma 5 and status comma 6 these are used for selecting the bank so as we know that there are four different banks so to select one out of those four banks we have to give some values to bit number 5 and bit number 6 in status register next instruction is clear f that is clrf so this instruction is used to clear the contents of the specified file register so the syntax of that uh, instruction is clrf and small f so this small f is nothing but the uh, file register so here the operands are from 0 to 127 so we can give any address between 0 to 127 over here then the operation performed by this is 00, 0 will be copied to that specified file register or specified memory location so with this the zero flag will be set to one so whenever this instruction is executed zero flag will become one then uh, example of this instruction is clrf port b so with this the contents of port b will be made equal to zero next another example is clrf 70 hex so this 70 hex is the address location so the contents of this address location will be made equal to 0 with the uh, executing this instruction. Next instruction is CLRW. So this instruction is used to clear the contents of working register. So it is just a mnemonic. There are no any operands present over here. Then the operation performed will be 0, 0 will be copied to working register. Again 0 flag will become 1 and it is just used for clearing the contents of working register. Next instruction is CLRWDT. So this, uh, the meaning of this instruction is that clear the watchdog timer. So it is again not having any operands. So whenever this instruction is executed, 00, 0 will be copied to watchdog timer and uh, watchdog timer prescaler will also have a value 0. And the other thing uh, that will occur is T0 bit uh, present in uh, status register. Uh, will be made equal to 1 so this is actually active low bit so whenever this bit is 1 it means that the watchdog timer has not overflowed and at the same time pd bar bit which is present in status register that will also be made equal to 1 uh, so the, only these two bits will be affected so uh, this clear wdt instruction resets the watchdog timer and it also resets the prescaler of the watchdog timer next instruction is move f so this move f instruction is used to move specified file to specified destination so here the syntax of that instruction is move f small f comma d so uh, the meaning of f is the file register so we can have any memory location from 0 to 127 uh, or we can have any register uh, with any from any bank just we have to make sure that the proper bank is selected and this d is the destination bit 
whenever this bit is 0 the destination is the working register and whenever this bit is 1 the destination is the same file register so the operation performed by this instruction is the contents of file register are copied to the destination so status affected again zero flag so description is uh, again same thing that i have explained so the example is move f port b comma w so with this the contents of port b register will be copied to working register because working register is the destination so here instead of w we can also write zero so the instruction will become move f port b comma zero another example is move f 70 hex comma f so the meaning of this instruction is that the contents of 70 hex location will be copied to again the same location that is 70 hex because the destination is the same file register so here instead of f i can write one so the meaning will be again same so the contents of 70 hex will be copied to again 70 hex location in this example if suppose here the instruction is move f 70 hex comma zero the meaning of this instruction will be the contents of 70 hex location will be copied to working register next instruction is swap f so again this instruction is used to swap the nibbles of the specified file register and we can also have the destination for the result so here the syntax is swap f small f comma d again this small f is nothing but the register or the memory location ram memory location and d is the destination bit it can be either 0 or 1 if it is 0 it means that the result will be stored in working register if it is 1 then the result will be stored in the same file register so uh, the operation performed by this instruction is the upper nibble will be swapped with the lower nibble that is the operation performed so the example is swap f 70 hex comma f so the meaning of this instruction is that a lower nibble present at 70 hex location will be copied to the upper nibble and upper nibble will be copied to lower nibble and the result will be stored in the same file register because we have written here f so here if suppose 0 is written then what will happen the result uh, that is a swapping of the nibbles of uh, the data present at 70 hex location will be stored in working register if here 0 is written next instruction is com f so this instruction is used to complement the contents of the file register so again the syntax is com f small f comma d so f is any file register or any ram memory location and d is either working register or the same file register so here the operation performed will be the contents of that file register will be simply complemented and it will be stored in the destination register so the example is com f port b so the contents of port b will be complemented and the result will be stored at the destination register now here we have not written any destination bit so by default if destination bit is not written it is considered as one if one is uh, present it means that the uh, contents of this instruction or the result of this instruction will be stored in the same register that is port b so now we'll uh, have a small test so we have to write the instructions to clear the uh, location uh, of 7 77 hex so 0 x 77 is nothing but 77 hex then we have to clear the watchdog timer then move the data at 54 hex into working register then exchange the nibbles of port b then invert all the bits of location 78 hex and finally load 00 into working register so you can pause this video and you can try to answer these uh, instructions so the first instruction we can have as clear f 0x 77 so with this the contents of 77 hex location will be cleared then to clear the watchdog timer we have a direct inst instruction that is clear wdt clr wdt then move data at 54 hex into w so data at 54 hex into w meaning is that 54 hex is the location from that we have to copy the contents to working register so the instruction is move f 0 x 54 comma w so here uh, the meaning is of this instruction is that the contents of 54 hex location will be copied to working register so here instead of w we can also write 0 so next instruction uh, next uh, question is exchange nibbles of 
port B. So we can directly have instruction as swap F port B. Then invert all the bits present at location 0 x 78. So to invert the bits, we have to write the instruction com F and we have to store the uh, result at the same location. So we can just write com F 0 x 78 or com F 0 x 78 comma 1. Both are same. And finally, load 00 into working register. So we can directly clear the uh, working register using the instruction CLRW. So this is about the uh, data transfer or data movement instructions present in PIC 16F877. In the next video, we'll see the arithmetic and logical instructions present in PIC 16F877. For more information, you can log on to the website given in the description of this video. Thank you.